Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this class number 8 of learning Rust, we are going to understand how to create or use function in Rust. For that, I need to create another application in Rust. So I say cargo new, I say class 8 function, press enter and you see that package is created go to class 8 like this and here we have to go to the src and we have a main.rs here we have to make a change now we have to understand that what we are going to learn in this class number 8 here we are going to learn what is function how to declare and define function in rust how to call function with and without parameter in rust how to return a single or multiple value from from function in rust remember that in rust we can return multiple value like we do in go language also and here at the last we are going to learn how to use function to return value by expression means how we can use function as a expression in rust that we are going to learn it is most important class for understanding rust programming language because function is an essential part of any programming language so let us start it first of all we have to understand what is function if go there you see that already we have a main as a function so function is a name of a block if i define here the definition of this i say function is a name of a block that that used to perform specific task and it can return value after completing task not only that we can also pass parameter to function and it can be used any number of time it can be call we can say it can be call or use any number of time so i select this and i make it comment so you see that function is a name of a block that used to perform specific task and it can return a value after completing task if you are using function for any particular task it can return a value from that also not only that we can also pass parameter to function that means we can pass some parameter to the function and we can force a function to do some task on that parameter also and it can be called or use any number of time that is the use of function now next question is how to declare and define function in rust declaration and definition of function in rust is very simple so suppose i say here display message so like this if i want to use any function so in place of this task here i cut it from here i paste it here and i say message by display function like this so we have this display as a function this function is a normal function we are not passing any particular parameter to this function and this function is not returning any value it's a simple function i say simple function with no parameter and return value like this so we do not have any return value do not have any parameter parameter so we can call it call is simple just i says here and do this if i run it i say cargo run and you will see that it's very simple message by display function so we have this here the same we are calling so it's a way to define a function simple function with no parameter or no return value now i can say and no return value and next function i say fun i say here some function and here i say int and uh, we have a sum function and here i say num1 and we say num2 like this and uh, here i say println sum of two number is equal to here and here i say num1 plus num2 like this i use it so this is a function with a parameter and no return value like this so again we have to call it so i create here a variable n1 or num1 of integer type and i slice the value 10 then i say num and we have to use let keyword and here i say let keyword 
and uh, I say num2 then i32 equal to 20 then I call this function I say sum here I pass num1 and num2 like this save this once again try to cargo run and uh, we have some error here that means we have to specify data type also here num1 and num2 so I say here data type is i32 here also I say i32 save this try to run once again you see so we have to specify data type also here num1 and num2 as a parameter and I am passing these parameter from here num1 num2 in this function and you see that we have a output sum of two number is 30. So this is a second function with parameter without return value. We can create one more function. I say fn and I say sub here I say num1 of i32 num2 of i32 and here I say I want to return a value also of int 32. Remember this is a return value we have to indicate like this and here I say return and the return would be the subtraction of this so I say num1 minus num2 remember and after that I need to call it so once again I try to call the same value like this and I need return value also so I directly call it I say print ln and I say here subtraction of two number is equal to and here we pass this one like that so you see that subtraction of two number is and here we will return a value from this num1 num2 we are passing same so i increase the value to this 30 minus 20 answer would be 10 so try to execute once again and you see that display by display function then function then we have a 10 subtraction of two number so this is a third function we can say function with parameter and return value remember that so we have this is the third type of function now we have another way to return the value from a function remember that this is the normal way just to create a return keyword use a return keyword and we return it but we have another way of this also to return a value what is that i say fun mul i say num1 of i32 then num2 of i32 return value is i32 remember and here in place of return keyword i say num1 multiply by num2 remember that i am not using semicolon after this because i am not using semicolon it is called expression remember so it's called expression and this function is also function with parameter and return value by expression remember so we are returning a value by using expression so no need to put return keyword if the last statement is expression that means we do not have a semicolon then we can return a value and if you don't know what is expression and what is the difference between expression and a statement I have a last video in which I have explained you that what is the difference between expression and a statement you can watch that video first and then come to this so this is the last line of this function that's why it's returning a value so I want to call this also so I say here once again I say multiplication of two number multiplication of two number and here I use mul and you see that the same output we will have so i say run cargo and you see that the answer we have like this you see that multiplication of two number is this subtraction of two number is this that means subtraction multiplication both are returning a value and remember that one is returning a value by using return keyword and second is using by expression now we have another way of function to return a multiple value as I explained in this PPT also that declaration of function is done calling of function with and without parameter is done returning a single value and multiple value we are we have to understand multiple value also single value we have seen how to return we have used function also that return a value by expression that we have checked last one we have that how to return a multiple value 
from a function for that what i do i say one more function i say my function is cal calculator here i pass same parameter again 132 i32 num2 is i32 and here i say that this function is going to return two value of integer type so i say like this and it may be more than two it may be more than two remember just example i am showing you two value now what i do here i say return i say return the first value is num1 plus num2 then i say second value is num1 multiply num2 so multiplication and the sum we are getting from this like that two value we have to get then i need to call this function again with this so i say addition and multiplication addition addition and multiplication of two number is remember here i need to use cal but it will generate an error because when function return a two value then we have to specify here some value first of all i need to run it to show you the error and we have a error error is that uh, we have a mistake also fc i have to write here fn means the function save this once again i run it and you will see that we have the problem here that uh, we are not able to return a two value we have to use like this you see it's showing a symbol that instead of passing a simple curly brackets we have to pass curly bracket like this or like this if you want to print so first we try first one so here i say this one and this that means it indicate that this function is going to return multiple value so we have to pass like this and once again if i run it you will see that result you see we have a two value like this but it's saying that you can put hash also if i put hash here try to use this also run once again and you see that it's showing information like a tuple here like this so you can show value like this also otherwise if you use simple then it will show in a single line like this it's using that means this function is going to return multiple value you see we have user return keyword and it returning a multiple value in place of return keyword you can use it expression also like this and remove this from the end that means we are using expression now we have a same output to run this you see same output we have so we can return by expression also we can return by using return keyword also and you see that this is a function to return multiple value we have a function with return multiple value you see so all type of function we have learned in this video that we have multiple way to create a function in rust programming language and it's a very very simple but strict way to use function in rust remember that i think i try to make you understand each and every concept of function in a very very simple and understandable example if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video